All right, guys, today we are going to learn how to translate verbal phrases into an algebraic equation. Now, in a previous video, we learned about the different operations and the words that go along with them. And so today I have three examples for you where we are going to learn to change these phrases into algebraic equations. Now, our first phrase says the product of two and the difference between t and 1 is 14. What we learned that product means multiplication. Of means multiplication as well. So I could use a dot or I could use an x. But I would prefer a dot or parentheses. And the reason why I would prefer the dot or parentheses instead of the x is because we normally use x as a variable um, or a letter as a variable, and we don't want to get too confusing. So we have a product of two, and we're looking at the difference between t and one. And we've learned that is, anytime we see is, that means equal. So we can start setting up our equation. So we know that the equal sign is right here. And we know it's going to be 14. It is 14. Now we look at the difference between two numbers. Well, when we look at difference, we're looking at subtraction. So the difference, we're going to subtract t and 1. So here we go. Subtract t and 1. Now we have the product of 2. So we're going to multiply 2 by t minus 1, because the difference of t and 1 is going to be t minus 1. And so then the product, product means multiply. So and I'm going to have it on the outside of the parentheses. You might ask yourself, well, how do you know it's going to be a parentheses around t minus 1? It's because when I see the product, I'm going to have to multiply everything t and 1. And so I'm going to be getting it prepared to do the distributive property to each term in the equation. So here we go. Let's solve it out. So t times 2. 2 times t is 2t. Two, 2 times a negative 1 is a negative 2. And we're going to say that equals 14. We are going to add its inverse to both sides of the equation. Therefore, we have 2t. We're going to bring it down. This negative 2 and positive 2 turns into 0. And 14 plus 2 is 16. Go ahead and divide by the coefficient because what's attached to that t is a 2. And it's attached by multiplication. So to the inverse is division. Therefore, our final answer is t is equal to 16 divided by 2 which is eight. Not bad. We just got to take it one step at a time, and then we will be pros at translating these verbal phrases into algebraic equations. Let's try the next one. It says the quotient of e plus two and five results in, all right, four. So here we go again. So results in is results is equal to. So it's going to be equal to four. So I know right away that this equation is going to equal to four. So what's going to be on the left side of the equation? So we say quotient. When we have the word quotient, we know it's going to be a division. So we are going to divide a couple numbers or variables divided by a number. So what are the two? Top. Here is the numerator, e plus 2. Here is the denominator. How do I know? Well, it's separated by the word and. So we have this and that. We have this term, and then we have another term. So let's go ahead and bring the 5 into the denominator, and we are the e plus 2. You're going to e plus 2. Now let's go ahead and solve this. 
Well, anytime that I have a number in the denominator, I'm going to multiply both sides by its reciprocal. And so this is over 5, so I am going to multiply it by 5 over 1. And what I do on one side of the equation, I'm going to do over onto the other side of the equation. I'm going to keep my equal signs in line with each other. So I see that's 4 times 5, which is 20. And then let's start doing some distributive property to the each term on the inside of the parentheses. So 5 times e is 5e. And 5e divided by 5. I'm going to add a little step in here for people that are new to this type of an equation. And so 5 times 2 is a positive 2 is going to be a positive 10 over 5. Now this equation is going to be left out later on once you feel a little bit more comfortable of going 5 times e is 5e divided by 5 is just e by itself. So because 5 divided by 5 is going to give us e by itself, plus 10 divided by 5 is going to be e plus 2. And then I'm going to write the rest of my equation down. So I'm going to add a negative 2 to both sides. That is going to give me e equals 20 divided, or 20 subtract 2 is 18. And there's my answer. So setting up the problem is very, very important for us to be successful in finding the solution. Let's go ahead and try our last example. We have, let's move this over. We have, we are going to combine 3 and 5 times j. There's that and once again. And so if we can notice a pattern, when I see and, I know I'm going to have one part of my equation and I'm going to have another part of my equation. And we've learned that gives or results or is is going to be equal. So it's going to be equal to 18. So let's go ahead and write the right side of my equation. Now, I'm going to combine. Well, what does combine mean? Combine, if I'm combining things together, I'm going to be adding them together. I'm going to combine two sets of terms. The first term is 3. And I'm going to combine it with 5 times j. So another way, 5 times j is just going to be 5j. All right, so let's go ahead and start solving. That seemed super easy. It might have looked confusing, but once we break it down, super easy. Here we go. This is a positive 3. The inverse is a negative 3, so I'm going to subtract 3 on both sides of the equation. This gives me 0, and this will give me 15. So 5j, we'll go ahead and bring that down. And so 5j is going to equal 15. Well, what's attached to that j? It's a 5, and it's attached multi by multiplication. So I'm going to divide by 5 on both sides of the equation. And so when I divide by both sides of the equation, this gives me 1j. And then 15 divided by 5 is 3. Well, that seems super easy. It didn't seem as bad as we thought. It's very important to be successful is to know some of these key terms and what do they say. Like when I know something is equal, results, gives, is. If I'm comparing two terms, I look for the word and. Combining means addition. Multiplication is times. So difference is subtraction. Quotient is division. So it's knowing those terms because it's like another language. So work really hard at knowing this language and you're going to find yourself super successful. Thank you.